Nigerian controversial investigative journalist Dr. Kemi Olunloyor has taken to her Twitter handle to reveal her findings about how indig the indigenous people of Biafra are justly handled by the Nigerian government. And she has also apologized to IPOP and Mazi Namdekano over her, anti, uh, her agitation and anti, uh, instigation against the group. According to her, she is still wondering how Nigerian government can proscribe an organization like IPOP, but refused to proscribe a faction of the Boko Haram who are called bandits instead of terrorists. She revealed that she warned the Nigerian government about them in 2018. According to her, she said, after carrying out an investigation about the ill treatment of IPOP by the Nigerian government, she now wondered how these people can be treated like this. But the main criminals are there walking free. She said on her trip to Port Harcourt, she found out that lots of IPOP members, both boys and girls, are being incarcerated because they took part in the rally or in an IPOP rally. She said this was done after their leader, Mazi Inamdekano, was released from prison. Many are still in prison because of this rally. They told me how security operative killed lots of them in the rally. Coming out from prison after the investigation, I discovered that what happened was a genocide which I notified Amnesty. The army denied it, Dr. Kemi Olunloyo revealed. Before the rally, I warned IPOP that Buhari will make them a terrorist group. And Nigerian journalists were not reporting it. The Nigeria, the media did not touch IPOP story in 2016, except HNN Africa. Others deemed it sensitive. According to her, she said, I also want IPOP to stop displaying what they are accused of. After Justice Abdul Kafarati proscribed them as a terrorist group, she said. She has now also apologized to all IPOP members and Namdekano for antagonizing them since the last three years. She tweeted to us saying, the Nigerian government needs to pay proper attention to national security regarding IPOP. When I was in Port Harcourt prison, I discovered that a lot I have not spoken about. First, I want to apologize for antagonizing IPOB and Namdekano for three years. I met many IPOB boys and girls in the Portacourt Maximum Prison and interviewed them. They were incarcerated because they took part in a separatist rally after Namdekano was released from prison. I felt they were innocent and Kano did not do enough to facilitate their release. He was fleeing. Many are still in prison because of this rally case. They told me that the Nigerian army killed lots of them at that rally. Coming out of prison and investigating, I discovered it was genocide and notified amnesty. The army has repeatedly denied the killings. Before the rally, I waved a red flag, warning IPOB that Buhari will make them a terrorist group and that, and that journalists and that journalists are not the ones to fight as we expose your plea. No media house touched IPOP stories in 2016 except HNN Africa. Others deemed it too sensitive and it happened. After IPOP was proscribed as a terrorist organization by late Justice Abdul Kafarati, who by the way died of COVID-19 complications last night, 
I want IPOP to stop displaying the behavior, the behavior they are accused of. The headers crisis began then. Femi Fani Kayode and Fayode started tweeting. In 2018, I went back on a trip to the men's side to visit the IPOP boys, arrested since the bloody 2016 rally. I gave them 40,000 Naira in 200 Naira bills, two, spa, two stacks, to them in prison. They were happy as 50 Naira is our food money. 200 is four days. Many were starving and dying there. IPOP victims, by 2018, I tweeted that the criminals were basically the Boko Haram, rebranding as kidnappers and bandits. Of course, nobody takes me seriously, and I continue to analyze the situation, wondering why this group were not proscribed as terrorists too. Nobody took it seriously. She said, I am not a member of the mainstream media. Asorok wanted all media to refer to IPOP as a terror group. They were proscribed, and the mainstream media was encouraged to portray them as hardened criminals. When the killer headers were completely ignored, I focused, she said. In 2019, after consulting with several lawyers, I discovered that many IPOP boys in the Portacourt Maximum Prison had, had been denied bail since 2016. Three of the ones I knew died of malnutrition. I sent 200,000 Naira to a trusted lawyer who perfected bills of 10 inmates who had 20,000 Naira bills. I stayed anonymous. A judge can deny anyone bail, deeming them a danger to society. However, I noticed other terrorist groups were getting amnesty and repentance gifts. I kept tweeting Buhari to free all the IPOP boys in Port Harcourt prison. Nam the Kano's fans were too busy with abusing me to notice. I tweeted Buhari on why are we giving terror groups amnesty and not the IPOP boys in prison? We could retrain. All I saw in prison were bo young boys, 18 to 25, who had no idea that they will be drawn into political activism conflict with a dictatorship government. My only beef with Nam the Kano's group outside prison was that their aggressiveness made it difficult for those behind bars to go home. Back to Amnesty International, many Nigerians ignored the SARS agitation killings. IPOP members were killed. Way more than 12 estimate 32 were killed, she said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I said, well, The focus was not there. Nam the Kano led the group astray. The Facebook show and the alleged death of Buhari took focus away from the goal. He met with Soware on solutions for Nigeria. Then Omoyale Soware was suddenly arrested too. I criticized Nam the Kano on approach, discussed with Femi Fanikayodi. She said. Well, it is what it is, guys. Based on what she has reviewed, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it is? Well, drop by at the comment section what you think about Dr. Kemi Ono Lawyer. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.